men have become the tools of their tools. Thoreau questioned why people worked endlessly to earn money for the things which they had too little time to enjoy. His most famous work, Walden, was based on his two-year experiment living in a 10-foot by 15-foot cabin that he built in the woods by Walden Pond, a little over a mile from his parents' home in Concord. Thoreau's examination of what was important in life came because he was able to live simply, intentionally, and close to nature. He could strip away all the excess stuff that too often owns us, though we delude ourselves into thinking we own it. What is called human progress is really a greater and greater assault on human nature. That is the development of commerce and the development of industry and the development of nations and the moving away from the land. All is an increasing assault throughout history on the natural human being. And Thoreau is expressing his view on that because he's expressing his view in his writings and he's expressing his view by uh, exemplifying in his actions what he is writing about. There, for a century, have been efforts to turn people into robots. Uh, original mechanisms are called Taylorism. They're developed in uh, military industry and then transferred to private industry. You want uh, careful control of every motion, every uh, a second of uh, life. It's fine for corporate executives, for shareholders, uh, investors, uh, uh, but I mean, for the people, of course, it's um, devastating. It means their life at work has no uh, independence, uh, creativity, uh, uh, freedom. You, know, you, you just become a machine. Our culture is so much based on the American dream. And the American dream, you know, when you think about it in a simple way, is a nice house, nice cars, nice things, comfortable, pleasure, sort of surfing through life with all the amenities and everything that anyone could ever dream of. I think everybody has been forced into this little being of having to go out, earn as much money as they can, and work as many hours as they have to to support the types of lifestyles that everybody has gotten themselves into. What much of modern life has done is it has given us a lot of material comfort, entertainment. Entertainment is not necessarily comfort of the mind, it's just preoccupation of the mind. Relaxation is comfort of the mind.